Okay, my name is um, Peter. My second name is Jacobus, and my last name is Swart. So that's why the the PJ in my channel name is for Peter Jacobus, and then obviously Swart, my surname, which is basically the Afrikaans word for black, like actually the color black. basic idea for today's video is to I'm basically doing a QA. and a I asked for a few questions on Instagram and I received a few comments and a few replies so I'll be answering them but before I get to answering those questions I first want to tell you guys a few facts about me because I don't think you guys really know me that well um, yeah I actually just jumped into YouTube with the previous two videos without introducing myself to you guys. This is very shallow, like not really... You won't get to know me, but you'll know a bit who I am and where I'm from. Firstly, I was born on the 7th of August in 1998. I was born here in South Africa, where I'm still living. Yeah, I was born in, I was born in Pretoria and I lived here for, I think, I lived here for about two years. And then we moved to a smaller town, Vanabal Park. It's to the south of Gauteng. And um, yeah, we stayed there until I was eight years old. And I finished school last year. I finished matric. Now I'm 18 years old. I finished matric at Midstream College here in Midrand. It's yeah, it's basically between Pretoria and Johannesburg. So that's where I'm currently living. It's where my where my mom's living at least with my brother, and my sister. Um, Okay, I have three siblings. I have two brothers and a sister. My sister is 16 years old. I have a brother that's 19 years old and another brother that's 26 years old and he's married. So I also have a, a, a sister-in-law. Currently I'm studying civil engineering at the University of Stellenbosch. And the, I'm staying in Rez. Yeah, I don't have a flat. I'm staying in Rez with a few other guys. So. Yeah, currently I'm at home, I have vacation, so you might see videos where I'm in race with a few other guys soon. I have holiday until the 17th of July, so then I'll only be back there. I'm studying civil engineering, but I also like to, to work with youth one day and be part of the church, reaching out to schools and yeah, working with, yeah, just working with youth in general and with younger children. That's something I really like to do. I want to do my master's degree at MIT in the United States, but I'll first see if, um, if I can do that with the money and the funding and financially be able to do that, but that's a dream I have. And yeah, I believe I can do that. Okay, now I'll start with the Q&A part of my video. And yeah, I, don't, I didn't get a lot of support from my viewers, but um, from my I didn't get a lot of support from my Instagram friends. so. I think there's four people who left me a comment, but I have a few questions because some of them left more than one. Firstly, I'll I'll start with my with my DMs. I received a few from Misha Miller. Uh, she was in school with me, and yeah, you can go follow her as well. Uh, she left me eight questions, so I'll start with the first one. She asked, um, "How old do you like to be when you get married?" That's one I thought about before but actually yeah obviously I can't decide okay I'm 25 years old now when I get married so that will obviously be something that happens with time as as I find someone and and as I'm ready to get married but um yeah my oldest brother quite inspired me to get married at, at a young age he actually got engaged when he was 20 years old and he got married as soon as he finished studying he and his wife was 22 years old, so that's quite young, but I think if I could choose, I would want to be young when I when I get married. Obviously, if I still have to go study for my master's degree in USA, it complicates stuff a bit, but yeah, when I get when I get to that stage, I think things will make sense and I'll know what to do. So the second question is what would you name your daughter if you had one? I haven't thought about that. That's a difficult one because, yeah, most of us you hear a name and you link it to someone directly, and that's the person you you imagine. I don't know. I guess I can. I guess I'll just guess a name. Maybe um, 
Shantai or something like that, just a random name. Because you know, I, I haven't thought about that. Obviously my wife will have like a say in that. But would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? So, um, yes, any of that would be good because I think at the moment I have like an Afrikaans accent which may be the worst one I can have but I'll get used to it. I think I'll go for British accent because the American people, they seem to complicate things. For instance, they don't use kilograms, they use pounds and they don't use kilometers, they use miles and yeah, they just seem to be way off. If the world goes this way, they go that way and that's just how they are. What language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? I haven't done research on this, but I think like one of the biggest languages in the world is Spanish. I could be wrong in that. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong with that. But I think Spanish is one of the one of the biggest languages in the world besides English. And I think it's better to be able to speak to most people and to communicate in a lot of countries to different people. It just makes it easier to travel and to communicate to people wherever they are obviously because you can't communicate with people if they can't understand your language what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender okay so i actually have a family name so that's my other sibling my oldest brother has my father's father's name also is my grandfather's name on my father's side and then my second brother is jan he has my mom's father's name he also has a grandfather's name and then me being the third son, I got my father's name. And then my sister got like, I don't know, like my mother's mother's name, but slightly changed in a way. Because my sister is Yakumina. I guess if I, was, I wasn't a boy, I was, if I was a girl, then I would have gotten the same name as my sister I have now. And so I guess my name would have been Yakumina. The last compliment I got. Okay, actually, I'm not, I'm not sure about the last compliment I got. I read through my direct messages and then um, I saw someone said to me a long time ago, um, I have a nice feed on my Instagram. But um, yeah, that's, that's the only compliment. Yeah, I wish to get more compliments. You guys are welcome to leave some compliments in the comments and even subscribe if you like to. How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Okay, I'm actually not exactly sure. Let me quickly go downstairs and I'll get them together and then I'll count them and then maybe show you some of them. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see, I have quite a lot of shoes. I'll quickly pack them out. I'll pack them out on the floor so then I'll show you, show you what I have. Okay, so I just finished packing them all out and I'll quickly show you guys. Um, okay, this is what I have. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 14 pairs. Currently I have 14 pairs of shoes, yeah? There might actually be more because I think there's some in Stellenbosch still. I didn't bring everything home. And they were all over the house now, so I might have missed some of them. But, um... Yeah, let me... Let me quickly share with you what I have. So... So, first of all, I have these three running... pairs of running shoes. It's basically... All of them... Nike. Yeah, I'm a Nike fan. And... Basically... All three pairs of the same shoe, it's just um, different colors. So, yeah, call me whatever you want to, but I enjoy having them. So that's three pairs of running shoes. Then I have three other pairs of tackies. I have these dark blue ones. And then I have these black and white ones. And the light blue ones. Maybe turquoise, I don't know. It's, um... Well, it's not running tackies. I call them casual tackies just to wear with casual clothes, not to go train. And then I have um, spikes from um, yeah, I did athletics at school, so I have these Asics old ones. I don't, yeah, I didn't use them for the last year or two. I got these Nikes. <laughs> yeah, that's the ones I used. 
Then I have I have two pairs of pluckies. In Afrikaans we call them pluckies. I think in English it's flip flops or whatever. So I have these Puma ones. It's my old ones. I don't wear them anymore. Then I have these famous ones, Javier Arnas. I don't know how to say that even, but yeah, I don't think anyone knows how to pronounce that. Then I have these funky shoes. Um, it's water shoes. I got them in 2013 when we went to Mozambique because they told us the sand's quite hot there, so you need shoes to walk on the beach. So I got them. I have these slippers. In Afrikaans, we call them pantoffels because um, yeah, I'm actually putting them on now because it's quite late. It's almost 10 p.m. I actually had them on, but I had, to, I had to take them off to put them with the other shoes. Okay, and then I have my last two pairs. I have these All Stars. I quite enjoy them because I haven't seen anyone else with them. They're like um, camo colors, but they are woven. Yeah, it's yeah, it's normal Converse All Stars. I wear them, most of the time I wear them, and then when I try to be fancy, like when I go to, now when I try to dress nicely, I wear these shoes, it's, um, I don't know what they are, David Jones, size 8, I have small shoes, but um, <laughs> I have small feet, yeah, that's why I have small shoes as well, I actually got them for my matric farewell last year, but now I just keep wearing them, because obviously they are nice shoes. And let me just get my breath. <laughs> okay, that's the questions that I got on my DM. And then, um, yeah, you can feel free to follow me on Instagram. This is my, my Instagram. And then I also have my, actually my YouTube account. It's this one. But there's not much on there yet. But feel free to give it a follow. And... Yeah, I think I'll be posting there more for my YouTube related stuff. I just needed to, um, I needed to start getting followers. Okay, well, I got four comments here. So the first one is from Johan Langman. You can go check him out. He's, um, he's one of the guys who live in res with me. So I know him quite well. So Johan is in res with me. You can go um, follow him. Yeah, he's quite a cool guy. He's, I think he's the tallest guy I know. But, um, okay, so he asked me, what inspired you to study engineering? And, yeah, I've been thinking about study, studying other things. I wanted to study um, actuarial sciences, and I also wanted to study um, theology. I just want to change the world in some ways. And I can do that through engineering. There's a lot of stuff I can do with engineering. I'm studying civil engineering. And the dream I have at the moment is to build churches. I don't know where yet. Um, that will, that's still of the future. And also to, I think to go into property and, yeah, property investing and stuff like that. Yeah, I first want to focus on getting my degree and then get my master's degree maybe. And then, um, what is your idea of a perfect day? Okay, so a perfect day for me isn't um, necessary a day that's planned out. It can be a day that's not planned out. I think it's a day where I'm in a good mood. Obviously, I can't expect other people to put me in a good mood. So, yeah, mostly that will be, that will be of myself. I have to decide to be in a good mood and to be happy and to be optimistic and I think a perfect day will be a day where I'm not rushed to do anything and obviously where I can be with people who, I don't know, not necessarily um, people I like, people who find me interesting, people who like to invest into my life and to be there for me. I think um, if you're around people who are constantly building you up, we want to be accepted in some way without having to prove yourself. So I think if I can be around people who accept me for who I am while doing things I like. Not even things I like, maybe I'm 
Yeah, while well, doing things I like, I like to, um, I honestly can't tell you what's my hobbies because I don't know. I don't think I know myself that well. I'm still finding out. But um, yeah, at the moment it's learning Photoshop and video editing and yeah, I'm trying to make videos for you guys just to, yeah, just to put the things I'm learning into, into something productive. And that's also why I started this YouTube channel also to just get to talk in front of a camera and to to get used to some editing and okay this guy Fafa Stein he's a, a good friend of ours he was um, best man with me and my brother at my oldest brother's wedding but um, y'all yeah, go check out his Instagram he's actually I don't know why he only has 760 followers because he's actually like a hardcore guy and yeah, I'll just go through here quickly he has a domination and he likes adventurous stuff and yeah can all of you just go check him out and give him a follow and maybe like his last photo or yeah, something like that he's quite an inter interesting guy so um yeah and he also sell fire trucks so yeah not all of you know someone who sells fire trucks and they asked me, "We feel snail pizza can you eat?" He asked me in Afrikaans after I asked, after I said, "Ask them in English, please." But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, he asked how many slices of pizza I can eat. I don't eat much, but maybe I do. I don't know. I'd go for for ten to twelve slices on a on a good day at Panerotis. And then the last question is from JC Grobler. We are quite close friends. And she asked me why in English. So I just thought it would be useful to make the video in English because I don't want to keep my videos focused on South Africa and the people who speak Afrikaans alone. But in English I can have a bigger crowd and yeah, I can I can talk to more people and get to get more people to know me. Not actually to know me, but yeah, I think I think a lot of people look up to me, and I try to set an example in everything I'm doing. So yeah, I think in English I can just reach out to so many more people, and so many more people can get to know me. And yeah, I think that's the thing. As long as all of us make a difference in life, we can actually yeah, we can change the world.